Hello, hello. And we're on to the Stanley Parable Deluxe version now. Very different from the normal version, or that what we were playing the last five episodes. And, uh... I see we got a painting of what we originally were at, but... Psst. Stanley! Yeah! Come over here! In the vent! But I, I want to show you something! But I want to go see, though! Okay, yep. In the vent I go. I ain't going for there. I can, I, can, I can crouch. Narrator, what do you want to show me? Oof. Narrator, hello. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new ultra deluxe content turned out to be. That is true. Me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. No, so I disagree I on that fact. I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's Whoa. developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Hey, 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 hey secret, our secret. This is I cool. Call it the memory zone. Memory. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on the memory PC. zone. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was solid with a cheap re-release? Remember back in Those are not the time. 2013 when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. Hmm. I remember that. Ooh, forestry. Look at this. this is beautiful. I like the scenery in the background. What is this? And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Really? Like this <laughs> really? stunning triumph of games Funny. journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever Seems created. Seems like you really cherish this game, don't you, narrator? Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona No, 3. I disagree. It was I can, no, 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 no. Skyrim was it's better. Nothing. It's no Skyrim games was like the peak of the peak, man. It isn't even the Stanley okay, Parable Okay, Stanley Parable was really good, too. It's I can't, I can't deny that. Maho, a lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator What contact. do you mean by that? Oh, but oh, okay. I, I go down here. Cannot. Seems like he's awfully suspicious, you know. Person of the year. That's me, isn't it? <laughs> Stanley. Oh, freedom. I guess now we're not focused on trying to be free. We're. I guess we're just we're friends with narrator now. We're just we're just tagging along with narrator to see what. We're exploring the Stanley Parable of Here's Deluxe another version. Moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games. You really cherish your videos, don't some you? Of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. No. It didn't need okay, anything It was else. good. It didn't need new it's content. It's a bomb sometimes, It just narrator. needed to be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Freedom? I can't go through though. Serious room. How? How? Stan Stanley can't jump! Miss Narrator. Are you serious? Narrator, you forgot the boxes. Miss Narrator.
Narrator! Seriously? <sighs> These were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. I knew it. Wait. Hang on. Well, Narrator, you didn't I give didn't me a choice. This part of the memory zone before. You didn't give me a choice, What's man. This? The box is right there. Oh, uh... Uh, seems like you've been... Oh, no. God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, <laughs> the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down oh. here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Hopefully. I, I think... Narrator, don't get angry. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny with his humor and dialogue. Narrator, to be calm. More no, no, need, no need to get angry. It's okay. It's just. Funny. It's, 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 I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. Uh, I suppose I, I could write uh, a handful of gags to insert into the stand. But no the game is already it's okay, such it's a okay, densely okay. web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Oh no. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? Uh, you can I tell can't, me if I'm preachy. Honestly, I can't agree can. or deny that, you know? <laughs> this is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought... Well, it thanks for the consideration, but though. maybe it wasn't. To cutting parts of the game. Yeah. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. Well, there's These a good review over here. my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel... Like a failure. Like I let no, you didn't. You didn't know that. No, you did not. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as no, I No, it's quite good. It, it, it made me go on a roller coaster of rides, you know. It's pretty, it's pretty good game. It wasn't a bad game. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations. No, of no, 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 no. It's not long. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button. Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. Wait, you're truly too preachy then. Then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Narrator? Not if it means what are you thinking? these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Um Narrator, it seems like... Um... Narrator... No need to get so angry. Um... Can't leave. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time, so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you, with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people. And if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue. And it goes something like this. The story. You've been very compliant to like the narrative. This therefore, is not very like you. It is. So on and so forth. Until inevitably, we all until the end of time. At which time, everything all at once. So, now you see. Blah, 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 blah. We've eaten too much and it can't be just yet. No, no, until 245. The logic of elimination working backwards. The deduction, therefore, becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly 10,000 years. I guess Oh, you're back, you see. Hello. You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to Wait, I get frozen? A rambling monologue full of Is it how you solve your problem? By freezing me? And lengthy ruminations on and the nature of choice in video games. Of course, 
I happen to believe I got frozen I got frozen in time okay such ruminations not that of course you need a description of it but if I had to describe it I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise or maybe a manifesto look I'll outline it for you very briefly and you can tell me what you think okay so my theory is that any choice you've ever made is simply a series of choices like made you really by the want me to press this like again don't you or were or will be <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit. I did. You? But that's the power of the button. Oh, the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what... <laughs> you really want me to keep Okay, it. welcome back, Stanley. Now, Hello. I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe Yikes. 30, 45 minutes. Stanley, Stanley, yeah? Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 Whoa, okay. hours. With the door. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, button. there's no way out. <laughs> oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Narrator, are you okay? Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. A week? Or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. Are you okay? Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't, Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. I needed there to be a vessel through which my words were moving. It was the vessel I needed, Stanley. Not the outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every brunching part. Wait, wait, I'll wait, wait. Burn you, my you, story right? to the ground. One single thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else yes, is yes, taking I'm, it wait, in. Wait, wait, These words that I'm saying, it, I need yeah. to know you can hear me. Because maybe, Stanley, maybe, if you can hear me, then maybe it means I'm real. Maybe I'm not just a fiction. Oh, hello. It's you. Hello. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Are you? Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunity. Narrator? Hello? Oh, you're not here. Oh, your back button. Narrator? Okay, button in this. Our alarm's going off. Button in this again. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. Narrator? It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, Entertain us. Hello? The end is never 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 the end kind of I think this skip button was a very bad idea whoa well, okay, I've been, I've been, I think I've been gone a bit too long. See, for concrete to like degrade like this, jeez. Oh, outside. Will I be free? Through, 
free from the clutches of the game. I'm still stuck. I'm still stuck down here. God damn it. There's no there's no way I could Man, if only there was a ladder. Woo! If only there was a ladder, man. It was dark outside. Button? Hell no. What? Hello? Anyone? Anyone out there? How long have I been frozen for? Hello? Hello? I'll go, I'll go back. I'm back. All of this narrator. Gone, it's so, so it's so good to see you. Mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I haven't seen you so long, narrator. How? Oh, forgot he doesn't. Mister doesn't remember every time we reset. Oh, new new content. Hell yeah, me me me. Got oh, new good. content. You notice my sign? Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. New new content. Me go new see new new contents. Left. Okay, I guess we go see new new contents. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out. True, to be. true. The original Stanley parable was a landmark. And any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. So we got from you now, narrator. I say we take it one step even further. Uh, Which is why uh, I'm very proud uh, to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable Two. Uh. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. I guess? Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. That's a very bold it's statement to make. It's oriented It screams progress and innovation <laughs> and long-term <laughs> franchising potential. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely Ooh, the game content. will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy here? magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Stanley Parable 2, but then what would the second game be about? Like, I, I get that you're making a second game, but what else would you would it be about? Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Uh, sure, I guess. We'll see if you can hear my name. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. 
So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks Put the on. name of the person playing the game. Okay. Isn't that one Jim? Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says oh. the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the I guess Stanley becomes Jim. Feature. I'm Jim Just now. Play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget who are the deep you breath. are, and simply become a person named Jim. Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim, okay. falling in love and being heartbroken okay. as Jim, seizing true, true. all of the world's Makes sense. possibilities as Jim, and as Jim watching your okay. dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim no, right now? Not yet. If so, then please step forward and press the button. I guess why not? I is Jim. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Yes, you see. What a thrill. What a rush. You're going to kick out of this anti-narrative. The button described you. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. <laughs> it hits even harder you the second like a child, time. You sound like a child, but you've discovered something nice. If this were the feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained <laughs> from all of this personal validation. The just right button, he. What I is suppose this? I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable. I'll, co I'll come, that would I'll come to this later. The work of finishing this feature. Please no screenshot, tee hee. A whole new office. Red is a new orange, okay. New updated ray trace, ray trace more of the same, but in a good way. New features, new content, new up ideas. The button that says the name of the player that jump circle, infinite hole. Infinite hole? Ooh, I won't go there. Did we come from here? I don't know what this is. The reassurance bucket. Let's go here. Hey, <laughs> reassurance bucket. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic Where's sense bucket, of though? reckless despair in those who played it. Well, bucket. I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. But there's no bucket. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a but sense no hands. of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's oh, true. bucket. Ooh. As as the <laughs> the sounds from the ceiling. The many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. Can I have? You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine bucket. what a pain in the ass mm, that bucket. would be? Yes, the bucket. bucket is the perfect solution. Um, bucket. Come on. Yes, please. Try. Thank you. <laughs> bucket. Right now. Can you feel it? Yes. The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing Seats. despair, Buckets. must already be Oi, from your body. And in fact, can I say that can I do this? believe is the now? bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? Yes, I think that charisma. just holding it Courage. has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on. They do, they? I agree. All this and more await you in the Stanley So I get to play Parable one bucket? Two. In Stanley Parable 2? I put this down. Oh, I bring Bucket with me. Bucket, let's go on a journey now. You're my new friend. Okay, Bucket. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable Bucket in a video game? What is it this? It really should be an award if it isn't all. Yes, okay, please. I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. Oh. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and happy 12th birthday which would you happy 12th with? birthday you know sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along hey get well someday what? it is ah uh -huh. okay, i see okay all right guys i'll probably end up episode two we're up, we're up, we're up.
But hopefully you guys have a great day and see you. Bye and thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for the next episode.